So guys, this is how I get around uh, the paddocks at the race weekend. Little golf buggy here. My brother actually painted this. It's uh, inspired by Valentino Rossi, MotoGP star. So yeah, we've gone for the luminous yellow and black. That's my dad, Centurion Truck Rental. If anyone wants a truck, any commercial vehicles, hit your man up. I'll take you for a spin later on. So yeah, here we are, round one, Alton Park. This is my local race, actually. I only live like an hour away from here, so. We figured this year, just to let you guys come and have a look what it's like and see what we get up to on a race weekend, what I get, to get up to when I'm not racing, when I'm acting, when I'm at home with my family, anything really, just to kind of give you a bit of access into what I get up to and what my teammate, Martin Plowey, gets up to as well. So. What have you got there? A uh, banana sandwich. Banana sandwich. Yeah, man. People still eat that. How old are you? <laughs> You're not six. Six and a half, mate. Today's a test day. We're here purely today to test, to get a feel for the car, a uh, feel for the track, the conditions. Hopefully, we'll find a setup by the end of the day. Um, and then we'll go into testing, practice tomorrow, and qualifying strong, and a race on Monday. So, we are. Welcome to the Imagine Cruising Beach Dean. Motorsport AMR Garage. We're here at Alton Park for round one of the British GT Championship. This is our car for the year, the brand new Aston Martin Vantage GT4. We've got two practice sessions today. We've got two one hour sessions, which is getting us ready for qualifying tomorrow. Um, really, today is just about final checks, you know, tightening up all the bolts, making sure all the pipes and all the things are connected properly, going over everything with a fine tough comb, making sure that we're ready for the, for the weekend. Driver headshots next. Uh, so yeah, gonna get a kit on. Little moment. See how it looks. It's like first day at school, you know, when you get your uniform on, and it all feels quite like stiff and not quite fit. My hair was a mess. I forgot to put wax on my hair, so I'm a quick bit of water, and then uh, I had a shave this morning. <laughs> making a making a big effort here. I better win. Welcome to race day guys, qualifying went well for us. Martin was the quickest Aston Martin, he lines up P4 for race two and I was the quickest amateur, P10 overall, and lining up in 10th for race one. So race day today, start the season, start the championship, hopefully we'll get some points and end up on that podium. start line when you're waiting for the for the, the lights to go green your heart is just pounding the sense of jeopardy you know is, is really there that's when that's what you that's what you're all playing for that's what you've all turned up for so it's pretty nerve-wracking even though I've been racing six years now I still get nervous I get really nervous I probably get more nervous in a race car than I do doing a scene or doing a, a theatre show or anything like that the nerves is just is you know yeah, it's pretty nerve-wracking, um, which is good. I think that adrenaline really makes you focus and gets you switched on. And then the minute you get through that first corner, it just, you, you know, settle then. Hey guys, so I've just come out of my stint, uh, the first part of the race, uh, Martin's now in. There's 10 minutes left. We're currently P2 in class and eighth overall. So it's been a good race so far. Fingers crossed, Polly can bring it on. In second place, we have Kelvin Fletcher and Martin Plowman. I started the first race, had a pretty good stint, handed over to you. And then I, ha I hung on till the end. Yeah. Um, so that was good, we got some good points, got on the podium. Um, yeah, second in Pro-Am and seventh overall, so it's a good result. 
confident for race two, weren't we? Yeah, we made a few changes for race two. Just really we're struggling with front end grip. I took the start of race two, got third place on the first lap. Uh, but after that, it was apparent that I was just kind of hanging on. Uh, we were really lacking top end speed this weekend for some reason. And, and I was just a sitting duck compared to the McLarens. They were just on another level. So I, I tried to defend for a few laps, but in the end, I think the one McLaren, he, he took to the grass to, to cut the corner to pass me, but the stewards didn't quite pick that up. After that, handed the car over to you in the safety car. You were third overall on the last lap. Yeah, I got punted off. Somebody hit me up from behind and just sent me spinning. We managed to salvage it and obviously we got a, we got a finish so we still salvaged some points but yeah a bit of sweet really you know good good start good race one and just uh, bitterly disappointed for race two so let's not forget this is round one this is round one of a seven round championship it's first race of the year I think we're being a little bit too down on ourselves do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. We, we've shown great potential we've got good pace we've had a podium uh, on to the next one.